Okay, I was going to play only like the, the first 30 seconds of that soundtrack as a joke, but oh, God, it goes in hard, doesn't it? Holy fucking shit. God, I feel weirdly nostalgic for Monkey Island now. Bloody hell. Hi, everyone. One second. Doobly doo. Let me just close that, open the right tab, put the music back on. Hello, Lulu. Are you right, honey bunny? Hang on. Right. What are you doing? Sorry, one minute. The dog has got herself tangled in the curtain. What are you doing, dumb donut? <sighs> so I'm pretty sure she just saw a CAT cross the road because she got super upset all of a sudden. Hmm? Did you see a CAT? You probably did, didn't you? Right. Hang on. Whoa. Anyway, so welcome everyone. Welcome indeed to a bit of Dredge. I'll be playing a bit this morning before getting on with editing today, and then this evening I'll be around for a bit of Left 4 Dead Versus with the guys. Right. So, before I do anything live stream related, please feel free to have a look at the following link if you like. Hang on a second. So this link is an overview of the current bullshittery as it's being made. It is Divinity Bullshittery Part 4. The link is essentially, uh, a, a, I suppose, like an overall report where the three tabs document exactly what the fuck am I doing. The first tab showing the individual scenes as they're being completed and with a, with a keyframe, well, like a percentage at the top to indicate exactly how far through I am. As for the second and the third tabs, basically bugs. That's my focus. I've got like a... So the video is mostly end-to-end -end edited. It's just in the QA process. So I'm going through trying to identify as many bugs as possible and get as many fixed as possible. So I've managed to current... I think I've got about 100, haven't I? Probably? I think I fixed about 100 issues, but if I'm being honest, we're probably looking at another 300 more um, just, to, just to sort of roughly eyeball it. So... There's lots of work to do today. I need to stay as focused as I can. I've got lots of, um, yeah, just sort of corrections and, and redoing bits of the video that perhaps didn't work as well as I thought they did in the middle of the edit. That sort of thing. So, yeah. Thank you, Tintin and Cram Tonis and Wigo and Tibble, Tibble Tobel and German Electrician and Ratnik. Thank you, all of you folks. You're very kind. What are you doing? She's sneezing. Why are you sneezing, Honey Bunny? Hmm? <laughs> Got something stuck up your nose. Oh no, has Twitch crashed? Oh dear. Has my PC crashed? Hmm. Both of my monitors have frozen and I have a loading wheel. That's not good. Have I lost you, chat? What? What are you being sneezy? Oh no, we're still here? I appear to have lost you. I might need to restart the PC. Oh no. Okay. They're gonna come back or no? Do I still have control over OBS or no? I think I do. Huh. Oh no. Something appears to have gone a bit wrong. Okay, bear with me. Sorry, I'll just do a quick restart and get back to you. Hang on a second. You could go. You, young lady, have had a whole dog sausage. You are not starving. You've had a whole dog sausage, and you've had multiple, like an entire pocket full of treats in the park, haven't you? And yet you stare at me as if you're starving to death. Like, oh, he never feeds me. Hmm? Well, other people might fall for it, honey bunny, but I know what you've eaten. Yes, I know exactly what you've eaten. I think she's got a tickly, tickly nose this morning. She's sneezing a lot. Hmm. Thank you, Astronex, if you can hear me. Hang on a minute. Right. Hmm. My stream deck is not pop properly restarted. One minute. Give that a go. No, it has restarted, but it hasn't found the correct configuration for the... The, like, the profile. Hang on, let me just close it again. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Just thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Here it is. No, how weird. Okay, never mind. I'll just work around it. Should be fine. Okay, so... Dredge. Can you see Dredge? There we go. Okay, let's get straight back into it then. Sorry. Where was I before the crash? Uh, essentially, yes, yeah, so please know that I'm trying to finish Divinity Bullshittery Part 4, and I'm currently in the Quality Assurance Polish. As for this game, welcome to Dredge. This is a fishing game where we're playing as a, a gentleman who crashed his fishing boat on the rocks at the base of a lighthouse. So he's not a particularly competent fisherman or uh, boat driver in that regard. He crashed into, into the one set of rocks that the light is there specifically to warn him against. Anyway, so we've managed to buy a new boat and we're out fishing again. We're currently docked at Blackstone Isle, which is a bit south of where we crashed, and we're handing in a gigantic key the size of a Volvo which I dragged to the front door of this ruined mansion where it turned into a smaller key and the guy there the creepy man who lives there is looking for a lock so while we're out fishing we're also dredging for things that have been dropped into the water a key and a lock are two of them okay so we're gonna go to bed it's midnight what's currently in my in the hull of, uh, the hull of my ship also hang on it's a bit loud turn that down a bit shall we Right. Let's resume. Okay, so. Blackstone Isle. My character is a bit panicked, hence the eye. So, let's rest. There we go. Sleeping until dawn. My storage. What have I got? I found a, a, a few random knickknacks. A belt buckle, a small flag. Uh, we found some earrings and a chain. So, dredging. What's in my actual boat? Okay, I've got some fresh squid caught last night, a weirdly mutated squid, and a rock crab that's a bit stale. So we should probably go and hand these in and sell them at the fishmonger. Alright. Undocking. Also, the dog has farted and she's gotten back up on her sofa, so that's delightful, honey. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Hmm. Select it with E and use it by holding the right mouse button. Okay. For now, I will get out my spyglass, my hourglass, uh, yeah, my, uh, whoops, telescope. Alright. Should I catch some cod while we're here? Yeah, let's catch some cod while we're here. So yeah, I hope you're all okay. Hi there, Journey with Brandy. Welcome, Journey. Right. We shouldn't fish for too long, otherwise this fish could go bad on us. Right, catch a cod... What time is it? It's 7.41 in the morning. Alright. Indeed. Hi there, being Tex. Yes, um, I'm, I'm gradually getting over my lurgy. It's still in me, I can feel it, but uh, yeah, I'm gradually getting over it. Bit of a slow recovery, though. There we go, and that's probably... Yeah, we've got a little bit more space for a mackerel or something. Alright. Yes, lurgy, like sickness. What's this here? Uh, shapes in the deep. We can dredge if we wanted to. Let's do so. Wheel up the... Uh, what is it? The, I don't know what to call it. I guess the uh, the claw. What's this? A worn gold ring. Gold always holds its value. <laughs> Does it? I, I too saw that video from Folding Ideas last night. Where he was critiquing the... Uh, some bullshit propaganda about gold always having value. Right. Okay. Sure it does. Sure it does. Okay. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Excuse me? Your engine sounds like it's... Sorry, like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for a vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Oh, okay. Right. Hello, fishmonger. Not all schools of fish are the same, he says. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just by looking from the surface. Okay. 
Well, I have an abnormal specimen in the form of this brood squid. I'm sure it tastes delicious. Uh, so sell for $20. The other squid sell for $7.66. Okay. And cods. So 16.45 for this one. 17.29. 17.58. And 17.09. And a crab. A bit stale, but it's alright. Alright. So how much cash have I got? $571.71. Okay, basic crab pots. Thank you, the Vale. Thank you very much, Vale. Storage. Did I find one of those research things? I guess I didn't. Hmm. Sorry, sorry, it's a mess in here. I've just been so busy lately. You know how it how it is. Exhausting. Hmm. Okay. Improved outboard engine. She's got one available. Peculiar engine. So 14. What's that? It's quite expensive for such a marginal increase, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it, we, I go from a 15.8. Sorry, from a 14.7 to a 15.8 for 200. It's a bit rubbish. I should probably save for the uh, the next big engine upgrade. What about lights? Ooh. Halogen spotlights. Do I have the room, though? I probably don't have the room. No. Cloudy lens, 750 LM. This is five, uh, 500. Range 10. Range 20. How much is that going to cost me? 180. Okay. Let's get a slightly better light, shall we? All right. Please install. There we go. And I'll refund this one. I'll sell this one. Okay. Not bad. So we have a better light for night fishing. Okay. What about storage? One minute. Can I put the ring in storage? Not from this screen. All right. I don't think there are any upgrades that I need right now. We should probably just get back out, back out there and keep fishing. What are my specific quests? Do I have any? <clears throat> find lumber and scrap. Catch rare fish. Find the family crest in Gale Cliffs. And also search for some relics. Okay. Right, let's get out there and keep fishing then. <coughs> right. So yeah, for those joining the stream, I hope you're all having a nice day today. Um, not a huge amount going on here. Oh. So I'm just sort of cracking on with, um, yeah, just the, the bullshittery editing. I feel a bit boring, sorry. What's this? Eel, I think. Yep. Bunch of eel. One second. Cabin encyclopedia. Go back to... Ah, sweet. How can I tell when it's highlighted and when it is not? Hmm. So card... Grey eel, how much does it fetch? $18 a piece, same as cod. Okay. Gulf flounder, 18 Really? But it's huge. Hmm. Bavin says, I also lost twice in golf on Wednesday. Yes. Yes. I didn't lose, I came second. Fuck you. Which I suppose is losing. But you know what I mean. I came second in the competition. That's, that's respectable. At least it's not fourth. Yeah. But well done, Bavin, cunt, two-time winner. I saw it. He's hacking. He's definitely hacking. He's got some ping, adva a ping advantage by being in Australia. Okay. Sailfish, 120. Hmm, they're quite valuable. Uh, black tip. Oh, of course. The black tip reef sharks rotted before I, caught I got them to shore. Okay, fiddler crabs are valuable. Tiger mackerel, cheap. Question mark, question mark. Gale Cliffs. Of course. Hmm. Stellar Basin. An unknown. Hmm. Okay. So I should probably have a look and see if I could target the bigger species out in the ocean. Right. So. What's over there? Cod. Bronze Whaler. Type of shark. Oceanic. Cod. Blue Mackerel Coastal. More Bronze Whaler. Stuff the dredge. Some lumber. Trump, yeah, quickly grab that lumber. Take care, Atriox. Uh, Atroxy? Have a good day. Right. Yeah, grab some wood for the sake of uh, a lady on the Northern Island. Wanted some wood and some nails so she could build a, a house. And she was going to pay me. There we go. All right.
side. Gulf Flounder. What's that over there? That's to the northwest. What's to the northwest? Twisted Strand is over there. Whatever that is. And what's this? Devil's Spine. Gale Cliffs over there. Okay. Let's go get some sharks. I don't have too... Yeah, mu there's not a huge amount of time left on the day, so we should probably be quick about it. Where are the... Uh... Ah, I've gone past them, haven't I? Whoops. Right. Here we go. Oceanic. Bronze Whaler. There we go. Stick this over here. Ah, will we have the room? Oops. Should do if we squidge it around. There we go. And I presume I won't have room for yeah any others. Still that's a good that's a good catch. Thank you, Panier and Zenus. Thank you very much, Panier and Zenus. Right, was uh, any cod nearby? Yes. Hi there, Zaid. Any actions? Not sure what you oh, damn. The cod went away at night. Okay. Any other night fishing that I can do? Something's over there, bubbling. And hi there, Jinx. We'll dredge this, whatever this is. Ah, it looks like scrap metal. Will I have the room, though? That's the question. Yeah. Probably not, because it's like a four, isn't it? Mm. What if I... I might be shit out of luck. Let's squidge that there. Not currently, no. Hmm. No, I don't think I can just fit it in. Done. Alright. We'll come back for it. Thank you, um, Danu... Danu, Bayan, RP, and Saviour. Thank you very much, Danu and Saviour. Eels. Can we fit an eel aboard? Mm, one eel, I think. Okay, place the eel here. One second. If I put the wood here, am I absolutely sure I can't... I suppose it's too late now. We've driven past it. Fuck it. Hang on. Oh, I've, I've stuffed it, haven't I? It was here, then put that there, and then put the wood there. There we go. Thank you, Fet Flask. Thank you very much, Fet. Right. Doobly doo, back to the coast we go. Right. Pull up to the dock. There we go. Right, hello, fishmonger. So, how much? Uh, so, 205. Nice. So, I, so, I've immediately replaced the light that I bought. Sell all the fish. There we go. Sweet. And then I should probably go out and get the crab pots before they decay tomorrow. Okay. So, I think we're good. Go to bed. Hi there, dragon shark. I'm okay. Um, I'm a little bit... Uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to get the video out the door. Unfortunately, it's the it's the rubbish part of my YouTube creation process. The initial parts are fun, but the longer you're with the project, the more it gets a bit frustrating. So, I just need to try and get it done and out of the door. Hmm. So, on that front, I'm in the QA polishing stage. So, I'm just going to drive to go get some crab pots over there. Hmm. Do we grab one shark? Woo. Oh dear. Blood skin shark. Tendons and sinews stretch over the fins of this bloodied predator. Powerful jaws are clad in exposed muscle. It's a horribly mutated shark. Grim. 
Okay. Crab pots, where are they? Check the map. One here and one there, so just past that island. Bloody hell. Fuck was that? Something made a loud growl over there. Weird. Doobly doo, doobly doo. Hmm. Don't you mind the tooltip on the left? It would be nice if it went away, yes. Probably use the ability once and then I presume it's going to go away. Lights, foghorn, spyglass, haste. Whoa. Okay. I guess you got to hold it down. Right, where's my crab pot? Over there. <coughs> Lulu Cam? Uh, Lulu's not really on the sofa right now. She's jumped. She's jumped to the top of the uh, the top of the windowsill where she's sitting on the radiator. All right. Oh, what's that down there? Some red glowy something. What's this? Not seen this type of fish before. Oh, it's a bissel. I don't have the right equipment to fish at that depth. Alright. Wait, that's not my crab pot. That is. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. Bloody hell. De uh, decorator crab? Having covered itself in detritus, this creature hardly resembles a crab at all. Can the wild... Yeah, can the fucking seafood stop being so fucking... edgy? Just be a crab. Oh, shit. I forgot to put the, uh, the plank of wood in my storage. Okay, a common crab is next to it, and a rock crab is next to that. Might as well pick up the... Uh, crab pot. It needs, needs repairs. And where's my other crab pot? It's over there. <laughs> am I worried? Am I worried about Q in his long in his U-boat? Uh, well, now that you mention it. <laughs> Darren was re-watching the X3 video videos on the closet, and he reinstalled Lit Cube. Nice. Yes. Well, good luck. Good luck with your space profit, Darrenick. Okay. Another one. I uh, don't think we can fit two of them. Might just have to chuck that one overboard. Hmm. Unless... Uh, okay. Uh, not enough space for all the items. Can I squeeze it in there? I could. Probably more valuable that way. Squidge that over there. Discard this. And then squidge that like that. And squidge this like that. And then I can fit both of them aboard. Ah. Then I can't pick up the crab pot. Hmm. Alright. Drop this rock crab. It's only a cheap one. Right. Discard. Pick up the pot. There we go. Cool. You recently downloaded the Closet app, and it's quite neat. Closet app? Uh, I don't think there's an app, uh, Gus. Okay. Bad Tetris? Did I do bad Tetris? What did I do? Bad Tetris. What did I do that was bad? Uh, actually, no. Ah, uh, yeah. You're right. Wah wah. Okay. Fish market. Mm. Hello, traveling merchant. Uh, could you please take this, uh... So, decorator crab, having covered itself in detritus. Just scrape it off, it's fine. 23... Oh, it's only $23. It's rubbish. Yeah, never mind. What about this big shark? Ooh, $267. Nice. Okay, just five dollars for a little crab. Thank you. Could you please repair my fishing um, crab pots, rather? Hang on. Repair all for thirty dollars. 
All right. Then, let's go to storage. And let's see if we can find one more metal scrap pile. Okay. There we go. Let's go to bed. <laughs> and they eat that? Yeah, just to scrape it off, it's fine. Look, when you live in the world of, of Lovecraft, you can't be picky when it comes to what... Look, you either eat the, the, um, the fish with too many eyes and tentacles, and then it's quoting Nietzsche at you, or you starve. It's up to you. Right. Uh, what's that over there? Uh, if you get the closet on your phone's web browser, it would ask you if you'd like to download the site as a phone app. Oh, really, Darrenick? What does that do? <laughs> I wasn't aware of this. Is it like a, is it like a default phone thing? Hmm. Oh, really, Saviour? Okay. So I'm looking for, um, like, uh, scraps of metal that I can nick. We could go around the island quickly. <laughs> yeah, look for shipwrecks. Aha! Found one. Sweet. Whoops. There we go. Silver trinket. Hmm. Put that there. Okay, we're looking for, like, piles of scrap metal, really, aren't we? Uh, that's just wood. I'll take it all the same. I might be able to use it to upgrade elements of my boot. Okay. Journey says you have an editing storage question. Uh, I have a NAS device for long-term storage. I assume it's some kind of device for network storage for editing. Wouldn't normal hard drives be sufficient to record? Yes, indeed. Yeah, perfectly sufficient. In fact, that's exactly what I did. I've got like, I've got like a stack of five or six five or six external hard drives in a small pile next to me and uh, I have probably collectively like ten hard drives in total split between two different machines. Um, all of it is perfectly sufficient, it's absolutely fine. The problem is, as you can no doubt tell, it's it's a mount. Uh, so according to the, the scratch, so I have so far, as of last July, 28.1 terabytes of live stream data. Uh, and yeah. In, in totality. So I'm sure it's up above 30 terabytes now. It's probably it's probably cleared way past 30 now. Uh, yeah. Streams are big. Streams are very, very big. Yeah, six gig minimum per live stream. And I don't stream for that long. Do I? I mean, yeah, regularly I stream. But only for like a couple of hours. Then I fuck off. You watch someone like Bavon. Well, not Bavon. Like someone like Digby. He stream five hours straight. Multiple times a week. You know? Anyway. Are they in 1080? Yep, 1080. Although that switch only happened a few years ago. I was trying to keep the resolution low for this exact reason. But uh, people really wanted 1080. Okay. So I was like, I went up to Mag. I was like, what the fuck do I do? And he's like, get a NAS. I'm like, what's a NAS? And then I just did what I'm told. Sorry, for those who don't know what a NAS is, it's a shoebox-sized device with multiple hard drives in it, and it's pretending to be one single big hard drive. Okay. What's this? Oh, scrap metal. That's what I wanted. Lovely. Cool. Right. So let's take this, these, yeah, take the scrap metal up to that lady. 
Do I have enough room for another dredge? Maybe if I shimmy, 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 shimmy. Should drop the crab pots. Hmm. No, I think I'm. Don't think there's a huge amount I can do right now. Okay. Right, so where are we going? We're going up here to this island above Little Marrow where a lady would like to build a house. Thank you, Silver MDHT. Thank you very much, Silver. Uh, thank you for saying so, Saviour. Although, uh, truth be told, Saviour, I do feel out of touch in that regard. It has been a long time since I've worked in software development. So I couldn't probably now, of uh, yeah, 2024, tell you the intricacies of software development. But some of the basic stuff, you, well, you'll, you'll, you'll keep that in your head forever. Whoa, it's a whale. Cool. Ah, that must have been what the sound was that I heard. Oh, it's a whale. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that's terrifying. That's legitimately frightening. Okay. So, let's get back to the shore. Hello. You can piss off, Whispering Fog Monster fucker. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Let's quickly get the speed boost and hold it down. Fly away. Oh yeah, it said that if I hang out near a navigation boy, I'll calm down a bit. Is that true? Hmm. Where am I? Blackstone. Oh shit, I haven't even made half the distance. Keep following the lighthouse. Let's go. Hmm. Oh no. What happens if I. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Please fuck off. Please fuck off! Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? Oh, god damn it! Fanged cod landed on the deck. Was I just attacked by a fish? Deviantly sharp teeth with chunks of smaller fish lodged between the hunger in its eyes. Fuck, and I lost the metal scraps. Ugh. Right. Let's get back to shore, eh? All right. All right. Hi there, Quebec. Uh, this is a very cozy and peaceful fishing game with nothing weird going on at all. Oh my, says the mayor. You look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Okay. I go to the fishmonger. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Tired eyes won't fare well in these waters. Fishmonger, alas, I only have a single fish for you today. A fanged cod. It literally jumped up onto the deck. $67.46. I sell it. All right. Now, I return to the town, go to my cargo, which is here. Drop off the planks of lumber that I've picked up, which I'm going to hand over to the lady who's working. Well, she wants to build a house with these, apparently. Okay. Silver trinkets. I keep finding knickknacks dredged from the deck, uh, from the uh, the depths even. Thank you, Silver MDHT and Clark. Thank you very much. Right, shipwright. Hello. Uh, could you please fix the ship? So thirty dollars. There we go. She's repaired the hull. Lovely job. Now, yes, indeed. Remember, you don't have to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock, she says. 
So, I can hand in some of the wood and the metal that I've found in order to modify my ship. Two engine spaces. Hmm? Okay. I'll mess with this in a bit. Let's deliver the... Well, find some more scrap metal and deliver it to that lady, shall we? First, some sleep. There we go. My character is no longer panicking. Thank you, Mads. 48. Thank you very much, Mads. Okay, my deck is clear. Apart from the cramp pots, but we'll drop them off on the way. Let's go. So, holding down E, selecting crab pots. Plentiful crab below. Two meters deep. We throw the crab pot, one crab pot overboard. Now, let's float over here and see if we can find a shipwreck with some scrap metal for the lady. She's over there, so we won't go too far. Right, eight meters deep, five meters, six meters, crab pot. All right. Was this scrap metal? It is. Wonderful. Start dredging. There we go. Scrap metal acquired. While we're here, we may as well get a little bit more. Lovely. Two bits of scrap metal acquired. Now, if I drive over to the lady, will she tell me to come back with the material specifically, or will I have the ability to access my cargo hold from here? Let's have a look. Okay. Steel point. Material pile. Done. This is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. Looks like I've got to run back. Oops. There we go. Okay, get two bits of wood, unless I can get it here. What's that over there? Let's have a look-see. Yes, indeed. Lovely. Okay. So once again, for those joining and passing through the stream, please know that I'm trying to get Divinity Bullshittery Part 4 finished. Uh, I'm in the in, in the polishing stages. I'm hoping that it will only take me a couple of weeks, and this is the end of that first week. Um, I'm not as far through as I was hoping. I'm fighting issues around about the ninth minute out of 25. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I did a very bad job with minutes five to seven. I've had to redo quite a lot of it. What happened was, it seems that for some reason, a minute and like a, there's a minute and 30 second segment, which for some reason had defaulted down to 29 point something frame rate. I don't know why. I didn't notice this. So, when I did my text and animations, it was on, an, on a like lopsided frame rate, so it looks awful. So I've set, I've corrected it, the frame rate is back to 60, but now it's full of like weird the text is going to flash briefly errors because it's not it's not quite on the correct frame like the keyframe is not in line with the new 60 frames a second footage so it's frustrating right so doing the best i can all right material pile here we go You've delivered all the necessary materials, but you should let the builder know. Okay, no problem. Undock. In fact, while we're here, I wonder if we can find any nails for the sake of my own upgrades? And then we'll, we'll drive back. We don't have much time, though. Okay. Some treasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A goblet? A large goblet covered in what appears to be a thin veneer of gold leaf. Mm. In fact, hang on, we can just sleep at the port. We'll sleep here. Drive during the day. Shapes in the deep. What is that? Oh, it's a bolt of cloth. Eh? Do we really need cloth? May as well grab it, but... I think we need nails, do we not? OK. 
Okay. What's this? Uh, shallow fish grouper? Black grouper. Grab one of those. Eh, maybe just grab another one. Right. Pull into the dock, go to sleep. Alright. So, sleep. So my character doesn't go mad. Alright. Undock. Alright, let's go and deliver the materials back to the lady. Anything else out there that I could really use? Hold down E, take out my spyglass. There's some black mackerel. What's that over there? Uh, that's an abyssal zone type fish, so I can't access it. A sailfish over there. They're quite valuable. But my deck is currently full. Alright. So yes, over here, uh, what else is happening? My kitchen is a bit of a mess. I uh, got a new kettle because my kettle broke down, so I, I bought a new one. And then almost... So, sorry, you know how I'm getting a reputation for steal Not stealing. For recovering stuff off the street. My microwave, for example, I found it. It was like a... It had a note on it saying, please take me. So I did. I bought a new kettle because my existing kettle broke. I'm not shitting you. I step outside this morning. A neighbor, a kettle, a red kettle. Please take next to it. Fuck's sake. God damn it. <sighs> Ooh, crab in the pot. Oh wow, hang on. Do the bubbles indicate that the crab pot is occupied? Ooh. Stop taking things from the street? It's normal! It's normal here! When people don't need like an appliance, like a, oh, like I don't need this table, They'll just leave it just outside the, on the street with a note that says, please take. Like, I got I, I got gifted a clothes dryer, and I already had one. So I just said, perfectly functional clothes, you know, perfectly fine intact clothes dryer, please take. And someone just walked off with it. It's recycling. People recycling stuff. Yes, I left a paintball helmet <laughs> outside of school. <laughs> that was a bit... Okay. I thought a kid might like it. I figured a teenager might like it. Sorry to explain. I had a paintball helmet, but it was like a, it was quite a nice one. It had like a, a large visor for good visibility. Um, and I had it, and I was really hoping to go paintballing again so that I could use it, but I never really did. And it was just kind of collecting dust for years. And I figured, look, I'm never going to use this. Someone who might like it might use it. So I was driving past a secondary school, and I just put a note on it saying, free please take and i figured i'd leave it on the on the wall nearby and then the kids leaving school would be like ooh like 15 year olds or whatever they probably love it they go paintballing and now everyone's yelling at me for arming kids right you've done it says the builder well no sense in wasting time let's get moving oh what the f okay you gonna pay me for this, lady? Right, hang on a second. No room on deck. Come back when you have more space. I'll be waiting. Hope the seagulls didn't get your catch. Those blasted pests. Right. I have seventy-seven point three four dollars worth of mackerel, crab, grouper, and uh, that's it. Here you go. Right. Uh, let's go to storage. Drop off the goblet. A couple of bolts of cloth. Right. Okay, lady. All aboard. Hang on. Wait a minute. Can I rotate her? <laughs> You're now upside down. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. Can I put her in a crab pot? Yeah, yeah. She's Australian. It's fine. Ah! She's fine. A bit dizzy, but otherwise fine. How do, sorry, how do you reckon that looks like in-game? 
Do you reckon he stands there and just asks her to spin round? Or more likely, do you reckon he picks her? Because that's horizontal. Like, she's not standing like a normal person taking up two slots with her head and her shoulders. So she's lying flat. So do you reckon you walk out up to her and sort of lift her up over your shoulders and spin her like she's pizza dough? And then you place her down. She just starts vomiting all over the engine stack. Also, look who decided to show her face. Hmm? <laughs> Half of her face. What are you doing? You right, honey bunny? Oh, yeah. She's got a dick. Yeah, she has to be comfortable. It's not quite right, is it? There we go. All right, sausage. One second. I love that dog to pieces. Yeah, she's a happy girl. For those not familiar, her name is Lulu. She is a seven and a half year old French bulldog. She was a teeny weeny guinea pig sized thing when she first arrived in this flat. And since then I've put food in the top end and food comes out the other end. And, um, and she's grown into a fat, gray, grouchy young lady. Old lady now, I guess. The puppy, like when the little puppies in the park come up to her, she's like, oh God. She just likes cut she likes cuddles your lap specifically and snacks essentially mm. right that's not food that comes out the other end well it was the food right hang on doobly do dredge there we go so upside down woman in storage let's go <coughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, time only goes when the boat is moving or you're fishing. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back any time. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Ooh! Thank you, lady. They are very useful, actually. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. So, uh, let's go back to the... Yeah, let's go back to Greater Marrow and see if I can upgrade my ship, shall we? Wait, what's this over here? That island... Oh, there's treasure over there that I can dredge. Hmm. Is that a house? Not sure. Let's go. Could try and grab some more cash on the way to Greater Marrow. What role does time play in this game? A day-night cycle, by the looks of things. All right. Let's go get ourselves a shark. There we go. Squidge it at the top there. Put these there and there. These are quite valuable actually, so we'll get a couple of them. 
Or will we? Uh, uh, uh. Hang on. Have I done goofed? Uh, there we go. Squidge that in there. Then we've got a little bit more room for some cod. Are they cod? They look like they look like mackerel. Uh, nope, they are cod. There we go. Squidge one in there. Squidge another here. All the best to you, Cyborg. I hope you're okay. Hope you ma hope you make a very swift recovery. Right, back to town we go. Let's try that haste ability. Imbue your engines with otherworldly speed. Beware of overheating. Woo! I see. So you get a speed boost. That'll let us get out of a tricky situation in a pinch. All right. What? 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 Sorry. What is this? What is this face that I'm receiving right now from this young lady? This is a dog that's desperate for some attention right now. Yeah. She's staring at me like, Dad. second folks hang on got to do this Yes, duty calls indeed. <laughs> Look at that big fold of skin. Uh. Yes, the fur of a French bulldog is very silky. Well, weirdly, it seems to depend on the French bulldog. Like, I found some where their, their, their fur is weirdly rough. Did I say skin? I meant fur, sorry. Um, 
But some of them, it's very silky. Lulu's, for example, is very, very silky. It's like velvet. So, um, I guess that's just her particular line. But yeah, she's got very, very smooth and very pleasant feeling fur. Hmm. Like, even, even when you go against the grain, if that's the right term, so you, you, stroke, you, you stroke your hand upwards, some dogs, it feels like their fur is very prickly, not hers. It's just so wispy and smooth. Hmm. Right. Hang on a minute. So, back to Dredge. Hang on. Go here, and then where is... There we go. Is that... Can that live there? Is that okay? I think so. Yeah, I'll probably stick her in the top cor top corner up here. Hang on. Move down a bit. Uh, should be fine. Right, there we go. Hi there, social. ZF Social's in the chat. Uh, Millie and Ellie are cuddling at his feet. No. All the best of them. I hope they're okay. Right, okay, hang on. So, let's go to the fishmonger. All right. So, cod. Yeah, so what have we got? So, $251. Let's sell this here. There we go. Sorry, just going to have a quick sip of a drink here. Hmm. Right. So, we've got $1,300. Not bad at all. Let's go to the dry dock. Now, what do I actually have? So modifies four rod spaces, modifies two cargo spaces. What does that mean? Hmm. Let's do this. So modifies one cargo space to hold a light. Okay. So it requires one metal scrap and two pieces of lumber. Okay. And then I, c I should be able to get the much bigger lights. Is that correct? Hang on. So... Go to storage. Lumber. Oh, yeah, I've got one piece of metal scrap. There we go. Right. Yes, she's desperate for attention, isn't she? For those not familiar, when I'm editing, Lulu just flops on my lap, but she does it in a particular way. While I'm hunched over the keyboard, she's got her bum on my legs, and then she'll bury her head beneath one of my armpits. So while I'm clacking away on the keyboard or whatever, just editing away, she's quietly snoring in the darkness of uh, beneath my arm, against like against the arm of my chair and uh, uh, with the warmth of my arm. So she's as absolutely desperate to get picked up right now. She wants like, come on, stop talking. Let's let me sleep. Let me sleep. Yeah, she thinks she's a she thinks she's a CAT. Has Social posted a picture of his dogs? Let's have a look. No, oh, look at him. No, <laughs> oh, They're very cute, Social. <laughs> right. Is maybe it's the odour that knocks her out, says Kato? Probably, probably. Right, so. Lady, could you please modify my boat using these metal scraps that I found? One light space. Additional slot configured. Okay. What does this require? Upgrade your vessel to tier 2. Hmm. Okay. So let me go to the vessel. Right, simple as then. So I can now afford a larger light. Let's get a larger light then. Oh, let's go and do some research too. So. Research. Heat resistant line. Volcanic. Anti-tangle line, mangrove, hmm, and then that's all of them combined to save uh, on space. Abyssal, okay, abyssal. Not sure what that is. Engine upgrades, hmm. Okay, nice. Refined outboard engine. The engines would be a good idea, wouldn't they? What about pots? Hardy crab pot. Additional strengthening allows this cage to last longer. Large crab pot. Hmm. What should I do? What about nets? What's this? I haven't unlocked it yet. 
I, I'm guessing the nets get unlocked when I uh, when I uh, modify my vessel to have nets. I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should try that. So two bolts of cloth and lumber. Let's see what happens, shall we? So go to storage. Get two, well, sorry, one piece of lumber and two bolts of cloth. See what it says. So dry dock. Four net spaces. Okay. Purchase upgrade. Am I doing this right, chat? I can access my story. Oh, I can. Thank you. You're correct. I did not notice that. Thank you very much, Sultan. Okay. Let's give it a welly. So, four net spaces. Additional slots configured. All right. So, I don't have any more scrap metal. Got to find some more of that. And, yeah, some more scrap metal required. All right. So... Let's go over to the shipwright. Ah, there is a basic net available. Basic trawl net. Four hours installation. Lasts for one day? Capacity, five by five. This simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those who want to explore the oceans. Hmm. So, just speaking insofar as like an angler, as far as I've understood, is that a gill net? A gill net is a type of net where you you either drag it through the ocean or you just leave it in a river. And the idea is that the holes are small enough to let fish stick their head in, but they can't fit, fit their whole body. And then when they try to go backwards, they catch their gills. So as a result, you can just sort of passively catch lots of fish. All you have to do is run water through it. Hmm. So basic trawl net... $250. Okay, well, we'll give it a go. Please buy one. And then install it here. And as for this... Can I put this back in storage? Ah, that's a pickle. Uh, rota oh, to storage. There we go, middle mouse. Aha! Nice. Okay. We'll give it a go. See what it says. Right, so now that I've... Uh, yeah, so I've figured out my question now. So I, 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 want, I wanted to see if I was saving the research points for uh, unlocking the nets. But you get a basic one already unlocked. Hmm. Okay. I can't catch sharks now. That's true. That's true. Save the... Um, yeah, save those. Let's go rest. Oh, shit. I should have gone out night fishing. All right. So... Drop these off in storage for later. While we're here, we should also get a better light, shouldn't we? Ah, basic trawl net. Fuck it, let's just go out and get it. Hang on. Um, yep. So select the trawl net with E and lower it with the right mouse button. Nets will catch things as you move, but need repairing every so often. Alright. Let's give it a welly. So presumably... You don't need a shoal. Ah, look at that! La -dee -da, -dee -da, -dee da I see. 2.7. Plenty. Did that ping indicate that a fish just went in the net? Da -da 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 -da. Do 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 do. Okay, can I check the net? Aha, a cod. Neat. I presume I don't have to put it up on deck. It can just live in the net. Yeah. Yeah, like a passive catching device while exploring. Yeah, there we go. Neat. That works for me. Okay. So, what now? Let's go and 
Let's go find a bit more metal, shall we? We'll go around the back of Greater Marrow to see if we can find a shipwreck. Bring the metal back and keep upgrading elements of my ship. Maybe even see if I can get a bigger hull. Hmm? Doobly doo, what we got? Looks like wood. Dredge, there we go. No, it's uh, bolts of cloth, I think. Get a couple of those. There we go. One bolt of cloth. <coughs> Whoops, fuck it. <laughs> I'm a good angler, me. Though technically this is not angling. This is dredging. Although technically, is he? Sorry, I'm only I'm only familiar with dredging in the sense of clearing harbors. I didn't know dredging was a fishing method. I thought it was just trawl nets or whatever. Hang on. That was dreadful. Yeah, funny. Another fish. Uh, can I see any pieces of wood floating? No, I think there's just a big shark. Which I can't get because I don't have one of those things. Okay. Those are some rays. We'll go this way. What have I got in the net? Sweet. Mackerel. Doobly do, what's this? I saw a glowy. Inspect. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. I look inside. Ooh, lovely. Some lumber. A research part, which I'll stick there. A, a citron ring. A gold ring clasping a glowing citron. Am, am I pronouncing that properly? What's a citron? Citrin. Uh, citrin is... Uh, citrin quartz? It's a yellow variety of quartz. It's a quartz crystal. So the most common reference... Uh, so a certain coloured var variety of quartz crystal, which is medium deep... Uh, sorry, it is a medium deep shade of golden orange. Citrin has been summarised at various times as yellow or greenish, brown or orange... Um, okay. Why? Does it have some sort of impurity, or is it just normal quartz? Hmm. Okay. It's just a yellow quartz crystal. Cool. Alright. An old iron chain and a bit of wood. Da 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 da. Yes, yeah, so I don't really have any jewellery. Being a bloke, I don't really have much in the way of jewellery. For now, I will have jewellery. The story that I often repeat, which is a little morbid. Uh, my plan with Lulu, I'm afraid. So, you know how you can have uh, ashes turned into like like little carbon diamonds? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little ring when she eventually has to go. I'm going to get a ring and, and keep her on my finger for the rest of my life. Yes, I am. I imagine it's going to be a very smelly ring. Hmm? <laughs> well, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah. Right. Or could this just be an elaborate... Is that what this is? Is that what you are, Lulu? You're just an elaborate uh, ruse to get a bit of bling? Hmm? What's going on?
Dodge says, we have a family friend who has a ring containing a diamond of her deceased husband and dog. It's a lovely idea. Told the wife I'm going to do the same thing when she dies. She's hidden all the knives. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sounds good. Right. Hang on. Around the corner we go, back to the uh, back to the coast. Aha, fiddler crab in the crab pot. We'll take it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there's something glowing over there. We should investigate. Okay, so do I pull up the net or no? I guess I just dock. As we pull the net into the harbour, we look into it to reveal that we've actually managed to net a small child who was swimming off the jetty when we pulled up. Okay, hello, fishmonger. I have a fiddler crab for you, $31. What about what's in the net? I have a cod, $17. Another cod, a mackerel, $9. Ah, and of course, because we travelled at night for a bit, an arrow squid. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So, drop this off. We need to get some more metal, I think. For those joining the live stream, welcome to the peaceful and relaxing and totally not ominous game, Dredge. Alright. So, what I will do is... Let's go out at night briefly. First, though, we'll go over to the 24-hour for some reason. Not dry dock. Shipwright. Hello, uh, lady. Would you mind please installing a halogen spotlight on top of the boat, please? Also get rid of that research part. Okay. So install takes two hours to install. Cost a pretty penny. There we go. Recycle this one. All right. Can I rotate the lower cloth in the inventory? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> right. So sleep for a little bit. Stop. Wake up now in the early hours of the morning. Right. Uh, more research. Yeah, I'll use those research things soon. Right. Yeah, this is ho this is wholly too organised, folks. Go on. There we go. Right. So, let me undock. Now, so long as I don't go completely crazy. Lights, here we go. So, let me just do a quick bit of uh, nighttime fishing. So, of course, I've got my regular f uh, fishing pole for shallow and coastal work. I see no eye. Am I not panicking at all? So I presume I can't fish for these sharks. Yeah, I lack the equipment for oceanic fishing. Ooh, snag squid. What's this? Snag squid. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around a set of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Ugh. Okay. We've caught a snag squid. Stay away from that thing. Okay, now we're starting to panic. Doobly doo, doobly doo, doobly doo. What's this? Catch some of this? Stingray! Stingray! Da -da 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 -da. Right. Sorry, that's gonna be. That was an incredibly British reference. Actually, was it? Sorry? Was Stingray American? Must have been American. It was very old, like an old people reference. Yeah, hang on. Who made Stingray? Stingray. Da -da 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 -da. Hang on. So, 1964. No, it was British. Stingray, a British children's television series from 1964? 64 to 65. Hmm? Thank you, Nelect Sane. Thank you very much, Nelect. Alright. 
Probably go get some rest. A bit more rest. Right. So. Another fish. Yeah. Marina. Aqua Marina. Never mind. All right. So. Uh, sell the stingray. So 179. Bloody hell. Is that for the stuff in the nets? I guess so. 37 for the snag squid. $9 for a mackerel. Okay. 55. No, it is the stingrays. 55 for that stingray, 61 for that stingray, and 16 for that cod. Nice! Hi there, Commander Georgie. Lulu is fully upside down? Yeah, she's flopped. She's a happy girl. She's got a belly full of sausage. Alright. So, let's leave there. Let's go to the research screen. Now then. <clears throat> what should I upgrade? Engines would be wise, I think. Twin propeller engine. What's this, sorry? Jet drive engine. A relatively new design. This unit propels water through the system more efficiently than outboard propeller setups. Okay. Refined outboard engine. Twin prop engine. Okay. Hmm. Before I do that, so I've got three research parts. What would it cost for a new hull? Not sure. Rod spaces. Hang on. I think I do need to organise this a little bit. <laughs> Hang on. So, I need some... Yeah, more metal scraps. Okay. <laughs> So what? I need four pieces of metal? Three pieces of metal. Okay. Let's go find three pieces of metal then, shall we? Right. Oh, look, and then I can move this. Ah, uh, let's see. That's what it will give me. I'm with you. Okay. Hmm. So... Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. Three pieces of metal. Let's go find three pieces of metal. Rest for a little bit. Then wake up. Undock. All right, let's go. Find three pieces of metal and maybe pull in my crab pots at the same time. Oh, look, there's something weird with that shoal. We should investigate it. Pick up this crab pot. A trophy crab. What's going on with the shell? A grey eel. Okay. Is there something going on with this stock? Why was it all glowy? Ah, oh, there we go. Host eel. It contained an anomaly. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Ugh. Okay. I see. So it highlights when there's a mutant in there that you haven't caught. So if I go to the cabin, encyclopedia, host eel, aberrant of uh, the grey eel. I see, it's the second one. So I've caught both aberrations from that type of species. I've discovered 31 out of 151 fish. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So, do I have time to get a bit of metal? Yep. But I probably don't have burnt down of the room. Alright. Go get the other crab pot. Go sell it. Go get metal. Here's the crab pot. Hello couple of crabs and the pot needs repairs all right can I transfer fish into the net no one cannot all right let's go sell this 
get my haste ability. Woo! There we go. Hello, fishmonger. Okay, so I have 143. So, hang on. Common crab, $6. Sell that. Lovely jubbly. This one is $4, but the trophy crab is $6.25. Kind of rubbish. Look at the size of that crab. It's not under mine. Grey eels, $16. Nearly $17 apiece. Sell those. And this weird fucking thing. Host eel, $54. Okay. So, hmm, basic crab pots, two of them, here and here. Go get them fixed, get them back in the water. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I've just had an idea of a joke. Like a, 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 a tiny lightning bolt has just struck me in the head regarding a, a potential YouTube video. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Hang on. Right. There we go. Repairing all nets. Ah, I didn't sell the cod that I caught in that net. I open the door, fling a cod at this dude, and we're done. Right. Okay then, so... Yeah, sorry, can I just... No, no, it's fine. I'll remember. I'll remember. So, what now? Yeah, metal. We need metal to upgrade the boat. I need to sleep. Thank you, Chris Itch, Neglect Same, and JJ, and Virgil. Thank you, all of you. Right, day 23. Undock. Let's go see if we can locate some metal scraps. Right. And we'll also drop the crab pots over here this time. Mm. So yeah, for those joining, everything here is fine. I'm just trying to get this bullshittery done to the best of my ability. It's a game called Divinity. I felt that the uh, div the bullshitteries for Divinity uh, 1, 2, and 3 could have been better. So I'm I've, uh, hopefully I've course corrected. I hope. Oh look. She's made her house. That was quick. Hello, Builder. Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Oh, thank you. She gave me... Nope. Uh, what's this? Engineer's Companion. <coughs> what does it do? Uh, not sure yet. Oh. Right. Uh, yes, Dave. I felt that I included too much narrative. The bullshittery videos are highlights uh, from live streams, of course, and I need to try and focus on comedy because that's what people expect. Uh, in the initial cuts of Divinity... I included side quests that weren't strictly speaking necessary. <coughs> Sorry, hang on. <coughs> <coughs> Would I? Uh, sorry, was it necessary? Was it necessary? Oh, I can't even. <coughs> like, I wouldn't necessarily need to include the NPC Lord <coughs> Lord Wither. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Tickly throat. <coughs> so all the stuff about Lord Withermore in the first cut of the first Divinity Bullshittery was arguably not really necessary when you consider that the audience would just assume that Withermore is some random dead dude on the grave. The moment we start clicking the graves, here lies Withermore. That's the joke, isn't it? So I should have stripped it back a bit. In, in, yeah, focus more on the jokes. So I've tried to course correct for part four. Exactly, Umbra, exactly. <clears throat> right. 
Right. Good. More metal. Cool. We need three pieces. There we go. Of course, uh, surely I'm probably privately questioning why there's so many shipwrecks around. <coughs> I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's totally innocent. You're very you're very welcome, uh, Vorkinder. And hi there, Vorkinder. You alright, honey bunny? Not you not you, Vorkinder. What's that? Another shark? Is that a turtle? Uh -huh. Cool. Getting some mackerel. Turtle. Those are eels, I believe. What's this here? Ah, treasure. <laughs> right. What's that? Oh, a silver plate. Ooh, okay. Need to deploy the crab pots, don't I? Um... Silver plate. Can we squidge this squidge this in anywhere? Hmm. Not easily. It's a full on four bloody Hmm. Can it squidge anywhere? I don't believe it can. Oh dear. <coughs> Alright. Uh, move the top. I, I, I don't think... I, I can't uninstall the equipment. It's fixed. Alright. Never mind. Doobly do, doobly do. Let's go this way. Doobly do. Oh, it's a ruin. That's probably not ominous in any way, shape, or form. Hi there, Swat Knight. Hi there, indeed. And hi there, Mariah. Where is that? Devil's Spine. Okay. It's the middle island of Devil's Spine. Mm. Right. Let's get back to Greater Marrow, shall we? Lights on. <clears throat> Ditching the crab trap. I need to deploy it, yes. We'll drop it here at Devil's Spine. Plenty of crabs here. Ta-da! Let's go. Full steam ahead, back to Little Marrow. It's over there to the southwest. Another fish jumped into the net. So yes, over here, work continues. On with the routine. Uh, Cooking-wise, what, what have I been doing? Been making lots of stuff with the air fryer. Slicing up potatoes. I had a floor potato the other day. It's the type of potato that it's a potato that fell out the shopping bag and landed in the street. So I I, I washed it, I peeled it, chopped it up. Mmm, floor potato. Little pinch of like curry powder or maybe uh, some salt. Spice it up a bit and uh, yeah. Hang on. Where am I? North entrance. So little marrow is. Jesus Christ. Ah, it's that mysterious boat again. I keep getting I keep getting chased by this weird boat. Oh, hello. What do you want? Piss off. Go on, hit the rocks, hit the rocks, hit the rocks. Nah, fuck you. Suck my dick. My fish, motherfucker. I will not tolerate competition. Even if it's eldritch. Right. Oops, sorry. Wrong thing. No, wait. I've got a net. Hello. I have some mackerel for sale. Mackerel, some arrow squid. Only only about $47. Okay. So, dry dock. Let's go to the dry dock. 
So could I please get a couple of rod spaces? What would it... Okay, I can't even click that yet. I've got to upgrade the rest of the boat. So, for two bits of metal and one plank, please give me two cargo spaces that can also hold engines. There we go. And then, one piece of metal and two planks and one bolt of cloth. What would that get me? Right. So, I can now afford a new hull. Blimey. So, three bolts of cloth. Three, uh, wood. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to need three bits of wood. What's this? Refined metal. Where do I even find that? Hmm. Thank you, Jedi Lunchbox. Thank you very much, Jedi. Can I leave them here? I guess I can. Okay, so three pieces of wood, two pieces of scrap, and refined metal. And I presume I'm going to need more cash. Well, I've got the cash right now. Okay. So, we'll work on that new hull. What about research? Oh yeah, have a look at my new ship. So, two engine slots. What does that mean, though? Uninstall. Okay, so it, it, sorry, I was wondering if I could stick the propeller out the side. That won't work. I'm guessing those are for the jet engines. Yes, I think oops, I think so too, Social. Let's have a look at those new engines. So, Shipwright, you're selling single slot engines currently. Okay. But what if I went to the research tab? Okay. Engines. Refined outboard engine 26.3 kn, twin prop engine 36.8. That's way more powerful, but it requires... Th well, I've got three pieces of research parts. Shall, we, shall I do that? Twin prop engine? <clears throat> no, says social. No. Why no? The other one, says social. Why the other one? <laughs> Two L shaped. L shaped. Social says because I have six slots and you have six slots and you can get two of the top one for more power. You mean this one? Isn't that like at the end of the tree? I can fit two of the L-shaped engines. Oh, wait, sorry, have I misunderstood? I thought they were both two-by-twos. Is that a two-by-one? He's an idiot. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mum. Um, hang on. Okay, I'll get the top one, then. This one here? It's an L-shape. Okay. Give it a welly. Right. So for one, and then two. Research complete. Refined outboard engine. Okay. Go to the shipwright. Hello. So, 300 apiece. So if I click that to buy it. I see, my mistake. I, so I thought, this, I, I thought this was a four slotter, you see. Aha. There we go. And I presume we just re we sell this one. Or put it there? Move it to storage for a minute. Okay, she's only got the one. So I guess I've got to come back later to get a new one. Or go to a different area. Peculiar engine, 14.7. The one that I just put in storage is better, isn't it? 15.8. So let me grab that. Hang on. Can I not snap back? New to cargo to cargo there we go all right sweet and then sell this one we'll just put it in storage for now i can sell it later all right so it should be quite a bit faster now <coughs> sorry <coughs> just repair the crab pots and the the net okay I have one more research part. 
Should I hang on to it for now, I wonder? <clears throat> right. Hmm. Improved trawl net. Get better crab pots. All that. Efficient crab pot. Lasts for three days. Hardy crab pot. Lasts for five days with a greater capacity. Hmm. Lard crab pot. Okay. Um. So, aberration bonus. More space efficient design. Eh. Let's try an efficient crab pot for now. There we go. Now available in the, in the store. Right. Hello. Can I get some crab pots, please? Oh, wait. You don't have them for sale? It's the other dude. It's the fishmonger. Hello. So for 150 versus 100, I'd like to buy a crab pot. Sweet. Thank you. New motor. There's another engine. There is. Well, that was quick. She uh, she replenished her stock real fast there. Okay. So if I buy it, can I flip it? I hope so. Right. <laughs> um, I I don't know anything about. Okay, I don't know anything about speedboats. But something tells me that's gonna be fucking weird. Something tells me we're gonna be we're gonna be spinning in fucking circles. We're gonna be traveling forwards and fucking counterclockwise at thirty knots. Don't think about it. Okay, don't think. Okay, don't think about it. <coughs> right. Let's go. So I now have two new engines. What sort of speed are we talking? Mmm. I am speed. Nice. Okay. Let's go drop the crab pot somewhere, shall we? Got two over there next to Devil's Spine, Twisted Strand, Gale Cliffs. We'll go over to the Gale Cliffs to the southeast. Doobly doo, doobly doo. We're moving so fast that the fish have no idea what the fuck is happening. Just all of a sudden, a net just appears at Mach 3. Before they know it, they're traveling with the boat. They're like, what the fuck? Right. Okay. And crab pot deployed. Cool. I should have gone further, frankly. Let me have a quick look at my overall objectives. For those joining the live stream, I met a nice man who wasn't creepy in any way who asked me to find relics. He wants me to find a music box in Gale Cliffs. The collector has installed dredging equipment on my boat. I'm to locate some relics for him. He says he'll reward me f uh, reward me well for any I return to him at Blackstone Isle. Checking out shipwrecks and the like will be a good place to start. He mentioned that the locals might be able to point me to some. Okay. The music box in Gale Cliffs. Let's go see if we can locate a music box, shall we? It should be in this general direction. Hi there, Messi. Where's the dog camp? Hang on a minute. Oh, look, it's, it's orcas. Not orcas, fucking killer whales. Ah, fuck you, I'm faster than you. This is what technology is, motherfucker. We're better than you. Because we're humans, fuck you. Here we go. You've got your stupid fins and your teeth. We developed the fucking combustion engine. That's what you get for not developing your brain. Thank you, Dre Blue. Whoa, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. I think I need more development in the brain, frankly. Okay. Oh, piss. Let's have a look. Retired Whaler. What is it? Um, are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is this settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Anything else? <laughs> I didn't ask for your personal drama. I wanted to know if there's any shipwrecks. <laughs> just, here's my baggage, he says, and just unloads. Have you heard about any strange things in the area? Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. 
Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurried away, north as fast as they can. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did, never did see or hear of, them, hear of them since. Anything else? What can you tell me about Ingfell? <sighs> Ingfell used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in carcasses, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago. Dude, I literally bumped into whales 20 minutes ago. And now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Sorry, the, the orcas are whales. Not even 20 minutes, n not even the blue whale that I saw. I literally bumped into orcas on the way here. Like, two minutes ago. <clears throat> Anything else? Orcas are dolphin. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Chat. The killer whale isn't a whale? I'm googling this. The killer whale is a toothed whale. Ha! <laughs> a toothed whale that is the largest member of the oceanic dolphin family. Aha! Toothed whale. Uh, ah. So, uh, sy uh, systemic name? Okay. Well, I'm going to let uh, I'm going to let the uh, Wikipedia editors argue amongst themselves. Really? It's a dolphin? Hmm. Okay. Ah. What is it? Hello. Um, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Hmm. Also, why won't you look at me? Uh, many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legends tell of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliff as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought over the south side of the cliff. There are certainly a large number of wrecks in that area. Good to know. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Anything else? Do you need help with anything? <laughs> I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I'm having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Savage. Cook your... Eat fresh food... Jesus. Normally, we bury them in the ground... Jesus, it's one of these people. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes, I'll bring you an aged conger eel. Thank you. You'll be decently compens compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch them? Ah, oh. oh, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention they only come out at night? They hide during the, during the day. Good luck. Okay. Right. We've got a little bit more time before nightfall. The dusty pontoon. The ruins. Can I squeeze through the ruins? Let's see if we can find a shipwreck. Oh, another message in a bottle. Artifact Manifest. So, this isn't related to the other two messages. Artifact Manifest. Vessel, SY uh, Grand Prize, Mr. Michael Schultz, Gale Cliffs, Oaken Music Box. What's this? Oaken Music Box, purchased from the Antiquarian at, at Little Marrow for a bargain price, previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by a locksmith. Wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12-piece tea set, bone china, six cups, six saucers, acquired from an eastern dealer. Do not use. 
jar of earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site. Allegedly. Hmm. Okay. So potential artifacts in the area? We should keep our eyes peeled. Okay. Well, here's the here's the passageways for the cliffs, and it's about to be nightfall, so... Whoop. The mountain is shaking. Whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the shitting fuck? What the shitting fuck? What the shitting fuck? Jesus Christ. My boat got bitten by a giant fucking snake thing. Let's drive back for repairs. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's a conga eel? Jesus Christ, la lady. I thought it was just going to be some fucking herring that you guys are burying in the beach. Uh, in the fucking beach waters. What, did you get the entire village out? 300 people? To bury a massive leviathan? In like a quarry? Right. So, shipyard. Mm. Did you run aground on rocks or something? Uh, something like that. Nothing like that. Oh god, that was almost all my money. Okay, we're going to need to get some fish, quick. Undock. What's in the net? A, a few fish. Right. Watch out for giant snakey McSnake face. Oh, there he is. No, it's not him. It's just a geyser. Black sea bass. What did I just get? Black sea bass? Where? Oh, there. The dark bands of it on its flanks help it camouflage, making this fearsome night predator. And making it a fearsome night predator if you're a small shrimp. Careful, 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 careful. Is he coming? I hear him. There he is. Drive! Fuck off! Fuck off, fuck off! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he was just patrolling. I didn't realise he follows. Piss off! You can't get me! You can't get me! I'm in this floating pontoon! <laughs> the fuck? The lady that runs the pontoon. What the fuck are you doing bringing that thing here? Okay. You know what, lady? You can get your own fucking conga eels. Okay, sell this fish. Right. I will now sleep. Because fuck that shit. Alright. Then, what should I do? Shh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Uninstall this. How long would it take? There we go. Put it in storage. And then, put my great big oceanic thing on there. This thing. Sweet. <coughs> Now, I can both trawl for the little fish and catch big sharks, can't I? I'm a genius. Right. Undock. Please rotate the second engine. <laughs> Apparently it works, I'm told. Oh, should I turn off my light? Maybe that's what's attracting them. And I'll blast the foghorn. That'll scare it. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is not working. This is really not working. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He's like, fucking hell, I'm really hung over. Who's blasting the fucking horn? Fuck you. Oh, 
Jesus, he actually... Oh, God. You know what? Fuck it. I'm actually pulling into the dock right now. I got rid of him. Huh. Okay, I don't think we're getting in there anytime soon. Hmm. Right, I need cash. Where are my crab pots? Maybe I should go back to them. What's this? Ah, of course, I don't have my little rod. So we can only go for big shit. Big. Fuck's sake. Stop it. Go for big oceanic shit. Stingray. Stingray. There we go. Right. Ah, oh, dearie me. But yeah, I hope everyone's okay. The time... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a dolphin! Yeah, cool. Hello, dolphins. Right. One shark. You have been caught. Consider yourself caught, Mr. Shark. Piss flaps. Now, because I've got... Uh, maybe I am smooth-brained. My, my, my boat is too small to handle another one. Okay, I need to get the other rod on there, don't I? Okay, hang on. Take this off. No, don't discard it. Just remove it. Okay, hang on. We've got to go back to the damn... Qu uh, the the um, pontoon. <laughs> speed! I am speed. There we go. Yes, I definitely need to get a much bigger boat frame, don't I? So we just need cash. Okay. Hello! So from the net, we have a couple of blackmouth salmon for $20 a piece. And a perch, oceanic perch. Alright. And a bronze whaler. Not bad. We've got $200. Alright. Could I please swap this out? Uninstall it. Then put it in storage. And then from storage... Hang on. Shipyard. Nope. Sell the old engine. Yeah, probably not a bad idea. Oh, she gave, she gave me a book. The Art of the Silver Tongue. <laughs> She's telling me that I'm not very charismatic. A bit rude, to be honest. Okay, pick this up. Put it to cargo. Place this here. Now I've got more room on the deck. Okay. Am I keeping the trawl net? Let's get rid of it for now. Let's get as much space as I can on the deck for the sake of getting the... Hang on. Getting, yeah, getting um, dredging equipment. So, uninstall. Okay. Then put this in storage. Right, so now... One, two, three... Yeah, so I'm going to get a whole bunch of scrap metal. Okay? So, shipyard, floating dock. I need two pieces of scrap metal and two pieces of lumber. So let's go let's go do that. Let's upgrade the ship's hull, shall we? Right. Rest. Three lumber. Was it three? Three lumber, sorry. Onwards we go. Ignore the giant fuck off fish thing. So we're looking for shipwrecks. Fuck me. Would you fuck off? Would you fuck off? Fuck off. I will play the horn of fuck off. Fuck off. Is he gone? Is he fucked off? Hmm. Let's go around the edge. Maybe he doesn't... Hang on. Aha! Found one. There we go. Found some. 
beginning dredging. There we go. Oh, fuck off. The I'm just dredging. Leave me alone. This is meant to be a cozy fishing game. <laughs> like, like he's, look. Just this huge mouth and then just a teeny weeny little body. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Let's go over here, shall we? Decidedly unhealthy over here. What's that? Yeah, we'll check out these islands. Yeah, we'll see what we can get over here. Ooh. According to this, there's an aberrant species here. Darn. I don't have the uh, equipment to fish that spot. Keep your eyes peeled for a shipwreck. I see a shipwreck. But I've probably taken everything that I can. No, wait. I see glowy. A rotten mast lays down on this island, half hidden by the foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Nice. Scrap metal. A research thing. Doubloons. And some, uh, some cloth. So it's just, it's just lumber now, right? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm trying to do that now. Um, A-K-S-S. What's that there? Hello. You approach a hooded figure, swathed in dark blue robes. Their faces are barely visible. Fisherman, please, help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. What? Fulfill the hunger, he says. What? The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Okay. Just some guy begging for a fish. <laughs> Alright. I don't normally do charity, mate, but you seem to be kind of stranded here and you're probably like a hi pro I, pre I presume a hippie type. Uh. Fuck, sorry. Hang on. Yeah, feed the hobo. Alright. Fun fact, well not really fun, horrible fact. In uh, Japan they had a bit of a problem. You know the fugu fish, the famous puffer fish in, uh, that's eaten as part of sushi in Japan, which is famously toxic, it has a neurotoxin. And uh, it's quite, apparently it's quite tasty. Uh, but they had a, a bit of a problem with home, homeless people going through the bins and subsequently eating pieces of the toxic fugu fish and subsequently dying. So they had to put in very, well, obviously there's very strict controls over who can actually prepare fugu fish. You have to apply for a license and it's all very, very strict. Uh, the, the um, what is it, the, the process of getting one of these licenses and then keeping it. But also the disposal of the fugu fish, it goes into like sealed biohazard containers. And I don't think it's just dropped into regular garbage anymore. It's like biohazard stuff. Simply because homeless people kept eating... Extremely poisonous fish. There we go. Let's go feed the hobo. Easy way to get rid of the homeless. Well, also it's a horrible way to die. It's really not good. It essentially uh, it, uh, paralyzes the muscles, so you cannot breathe. People who are afflicted with fugu fish poisoning, they can be saved if they have artificial respiration and fast enough. So if someone takes over breathing for you, you can survive. But obviously, for the poor motherfucker, it's going to be a horrible experience as you basically, yeah, your, your muscles seize up. You cannot move your diaphragm. You cannot breathe. Unfortunately, um, the the symptoms of fugu fish poisoning are identical to the sensation of eating fugu fish. It gives you a tingling sensation on your lips as though you are consuming strong liquor. At least, so I'm told. 
Maybe there are some people in the chat who have eaten fugu. Maybe they can correct me. But as my understanding is that it gives you a tingling feeling on the lips and tissues of the mouth. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls a paper scroll. Yeah, take your fucking... I fling the mackerel at the shore. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More still. Empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. No. Get your own fish, you fucking scroungers. Fuck. They want fucking fish. They can go to go to the fucking fishmonger and pay for it like everyone else. Don't have money? Go get a job. Stop sitting on a fucking island, LARPing. I've got a job. I'm out here at nine in the evening. It sucks. I would rather be at home. But here I am, angling on the water. Hang on. <laughs> That's the problem with Cults of Cthulhu. Shadows of shadow over shadow over Innsmouth. Fucking cult of Dagon praying into the early hours. For fuck's sake, go fix the, go fix the streetlights, motherfuckers. Right. Hmm. Uh, what I'm, sorry, what, what am I looking for? I'm looking for. Here we go. Place the lumber here. Two bits of lumber, and there we go. So one bit of scrap metal, two bits of lumber, and what's this? Refined metal? Where do I find that? That's true, Misha. Yeah, I've got to go get on with work in a minute. Couple more minutes, couple more minutes. Okay, bolt of cloth. We've already got some. Can I put this in storage? Uh, yes, to storage. Okay. So, what should I do? I've only got my shallow fishing rod. I've made lots of room for... Hang on. Okay. Storage. Hydraulic rod. To, uh, yeah, to cargo. Install it. It'll take four hours. Okay, let's just go and quick... So I had a yeah, bit of a rest there. Let's go just get some fish. I need, I need cash. Right. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so last night I was watching... Uh, sorry, listening. Uh, last night. Yesterday, while whilst editing, I was listening to the BBC radio uh, presentation of Shadow over Innsmouth, the Lovecraft story. And last night I started listening to Mountains of Madness. Or the Mountain of Madness? Mountains of Madness? So there's like BBC audiobooks. Oh, look, it's that weird boat again. Hmm. Sort of patrolling. Where? Around Steel Point, where that lady built her house. I guess they're just fishing like me. Oh, yeah, we should honk. Hi! Oh, hello. Someone honked back. Hi! Hmm. Where are my crab pots? There's one over here. Apparently there's an aberrant species here. Whoops. Ooh, Jesus. Cleft mouth shark. Poor thing. Oh. Okay. Uh, I might not have enough space for another one. No. As you can probably tell, Tetris was not my strong suit. Gets in the way. 
Can I move it here? No. Never mind, I guess. Okay. So here's my crab pot. So it's about six in the morning. Wake up, lady! Six in the morning! Rise and shine! Right. I'm sure she's awake. <laughs> what? Just trying to wake her up for work. There we go. Crab pot picked up. Where's the other one? Probably don't have the room for it. It's over there. Okay, let's go hand this in then. Haven't twitten Roo. Uh Infinite Monkey Cage with Brian Cox. Hmm. No, not familiar. Okay. So, to the fishmonger I go. Hmm. Haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Hmm. The cleft mouth shark. A large body bisected by an enormous grinning maw. Teeth stretched down forever into a blackness of its large gullet. I'll give you two, four, six for it. Sold. Fiddler crab, $31. Common crab, $4. $5. $5. Right. <laughs> Broken bones. Complains about the cultist staying up at night. Then honks the boat, the horn at 5 in the morning. <laughs> Do you imagine, yeah, like the normal residents of Innsmouth start pranking? Like the fucking, the, the, the cultists. They're up at night screaming and hollering, singing prayers to fucking, what is it? Prayers to Dagon. And they're up at the morning, they've got, they've got to go to work, they've got to man the grocery shop or whatever. So of course they honk the car, the car horn at like fucking, the cultists are just going to bed. They're getting all tucked in. The rest of the world is waking up. Yeah, anyway. Probably not a good idea to do that in Innsmouth, you're going to get sacrificed. All right. So, um, looking at the time, sorry folks, I've kind of got to leave it there because it's already half past one and I've got lots of bullshittery editing to do. But this stream, thank you for being here. I've gone and upgraded my boat quite considerably. I found some goblets and some doubloons. I'm continuing to fish to build up my money and I'm hoping to upgrade the boat to its tier, like, hopefully a much larger, yeah, much larger boat. Right, so... Before I go, hang on. Where is she? Fuck. There she is. So, I'm hoping to be around this evening for a bit of Left 4 Dead Versus, so I hope to see you then. Um, before then, hang on. Uh, there we go, save the game. So, before then, I'm going to be working on Divinity Bullshittery Part 4. I've got lots of quality assurance to do. This sheet, which I'm about to link you... Hang on. Trying to open up the right sheet. So, Divinity... Here we go. Divinity... Go to Share. Here we go. Right. So, throughout the day, you'll see me fiddling with this sheet. And this is essentially a uh, an overview of the scenes in the bullshittery and what I've still still got to do. There are a handful of scenes in the main first tab. So, I finished 95.96% of it. But as you can tell, there's a few commissions that are still outstanding. Or various scenes with complicated effects that need to get finalised. But most of my work is going to be in the second tab today. I've got currently 74, that's not true, 70 issues which I'm working through uh, after the last sweep. So I've only got through to, what is it, like 9 minutes and 13 seconds out of 25. There's lots more work to do. So I'm going to get on with it, really. Lots to do. I'll be working away. I'm going to get some lunch. But beyond that, feel free to watch me, if you want, watch me get on with work as I try to get this bullshittery polish for you. Right, thank you again, have a lovely, lovely afternoon, and let me leave you in the company of... 
Hang on. Let me leave you in the company. Swat Knight. My, my clan mate Swat Knight is running around performing horror shows in Hogwarts. I'll leave you in his company. Hang on. I don't know Harry Potter. Is there a Harry Potter house that really, really, really likes guns? If so, he's probably in it. Thank you again. Have a good afternoon.